for about another minute um, until we'll get to uh, the Starship engine cutoff. Really cool view. Again, a million shout outs to all of our avionics team who make these cameras possible for us. That's looking uh, right down inside essentially the skirt area of ship where you can see a pretty good view of all six Raptors, especially those three inner ones, one of which we're going to hopefully relight a little bit later. And we just saw some engines go out. It looks like we are losing attitude control of the ship. Ship FTS is saved. And so we're still getting video down from the ship. You can see we've lost several engines and we've lost attitude control of the vehicle. So we'll continue to stick with it. For those of you that have, for those of you that just uh, recently joined us, we had uh, a successful liftoff of the eighth test flight of Starship, followed by a successful a successful stage separation. We saw the booster actually. You can see it just behind us here. Uh, the booster had a successful catch back at the tower. Um, unfortunately, it seems as though we lost the uh, uh, the attitude control of the ship. Can confirm we did lose contact with the ship. Um, Unfortunately, this happened last time too, so we've got some practice at this. Starship ignited all six of its Raptor engines. It was just about 20 or 30 seconds away. We'll get exact times from the end of its ascent burn when we started to see some engines go out on ship, eventually lost attitude control, and then lost contact with the ship shortly after.